Good morning. I'll tell you two stories today. It's from Sweden, both of them. All right. Uh, first, it's about the social worker and people of a certain faith. And then there's a story about a lefty. All right. Okay, so here in Sweden, we don't have tough cops. Our justice system sucks. Yeah, really weak. But we have something that is very dangerous here in Sweden. That is the social worker. Yeah, thousands of them. It's true, we have them. It's mainly ladies working as social worker here in Sweden. And they have a lot of power, you see. And now, you know, the government, they understand, I think, they have to do something about segregation. See? And uh, people being recruited into criminal gangs and stuff. So what do they do? Well, there is a total agreement among the politicians that you have to get to the kids. Yeah. So how do they do this? Well, they use the social worker. Yeah. See, that, that is, this is the most powerful force we have here in Sweden, I think, coming from the government. Yeah. So what do these uh, social workers do? They contact the families, you see. Yeah. It starts with a letter. They write a letter to the family and say, you know, we have to talk about your child. And people of a certain faith, they don't like this at all. Well, I wouldn't like it either, no. But this is mainly about these people, yeah. So they leave, apparently. This was reported in uh, mainstream media by Public Service News. They say, families in Sweden who are so afraid that the social services will take their children that they give up their lives and flee the country. And there was an interview with this guy from Gothenburg, a father. He's got four kids. He got one of these letters, you see, from the social worker. And he got so scared that he sent them away, back to the Middle East. Yeah. The four kids and the wife, he just sent them back because he thought he would lose them. You understand? And apparently there is uh, some sort of a campaign going on on social media with um, videos showing how social workers here in Sweden take kids away from their parents. You see? And this uh, public service news, they said this is fake, but I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's happening. They are actually taking kids away. Because this is what they do, eventually. They have this power, you see. If the social worker isn't happy with the contact, and they don't think they can change anything, eventually they will take the kids away from the parents. Yeah. So I'm sure it's true. So this guy in Gothenburg, he said, uh, no, he didn't even read the letter. He got the letter from the social worker and bang, he just sent them away to the Middle East. He says, it starts with the letter and ends with them taking your own child from you. He also said that he knows a dozen other families who are also planning to leave Sweden or already did. Yeah. So, uh, I think this was sort of unexpected. It's like a side effect. You know, the government is trying to do something about segregation. And, well, yeah, this happens. Uh, the other story is this. We have a lefty here in Sweden. We have quite a few of them, actually. Uh, this lady is Kakan Hermansson. Yeah. Uh, she's... Uh, despicable, arrogant. People don't seem to like her. She's very well known. You can see her often on television for some reason. Yeah. And she's also involved in the debate. Yeah. Making a fool out of herself. 
Yeah. Very arrogant lady. Now Audi, the car manufacturer, they have a contract with Koch and Hermansson. So she's doing some sort of PR work for them, right? Now they end the contract because of the bad publicity that she's getting. Well, that's a very sad story, isn't it? All right. Be good.